are great. So this is really interesting because you know if you, if you read Pinker or if you read Jonah Goldberg's new book, essentially they attribute the the enlightenment to Jonah Goldberg calls it the miracle. It, it's almost as though it accidentally occurred in a certain place in a certain time. Jonah doesn't quite go quite that far, I think, to be fair to him. But uh, I think that that philosophy that this sort of sprang up randomly here. Uh, is is very much embedded in yeah. a lot of Sam Harris's thinking, a lot of Pinker's oh, yeah. thinking, um, and you're taking it further back. But I do wonder if if this may be an area of actual disagreement between yeah. the two of us, which would be fun. Um, are you attributing the growth of the Judeo-Christian ethic uh, that emerges into the Enlightenment as also accidentally you're just pushing the timeline further back? No, I don't think it's accidental. Okay, and I'm not making a reductionist argument. Mm-hmm. So the first thing is I'm going to say this is how religion evolved. But I'm not saying I'm not saying that this explanation exhausts the phenomenon, because okay. it's a very strange phenomenon. Mm-hmm. It's very very strange. 